discuss how to add a sync service to Informant for iOS. In this video, we will be showing the steps using an iPhone 10. All iOS devices will be similar. In this video, we will add a Google Calendar Sync account. All other Sync accounts are added in a similar fashion. Later, we will explain how to enable the iOS or Apple data calendars and reminders so you can use that data inside of Informant. So, let's get started. From any view in Informant, go to the Settings, tap the Accounts tab, then tap the Add Sync Service button. Then select from the list the sync service that you wish to use. Enter a nickname for the account if you would like to use one. Then tap the sign in button. If prompted, select continue. At this screen, if you are using a service such as Google or Tootledo, or even Evernote, you may be prompted to use an existing account already connected to your device. Or if you are using a new account, you'll be able to enter that information here and log in. In this example, we will use the existing account that is already connected to the device. We simply tap on the account, which returns us back to the sign in screen in Informant. At this point, we are signed in to the sync account, and we tap the Begin Sync button to run the initial sync between Informant and our account, in this case Google Calendar. This could take a few moments or a few minutes depending on internet speed and device speed and the density of your data. As you can see now, the sync has completed. We see a sync and a reset sync button which is the indication to us that the initial sync is completed. Tap the accounts button, back, and dismiss the settings to be back in the normal informant view. At this point, your informant application is connected and syncing to your Google account, and all data that is assigned to Google in informant or that is entered directly in Google will be visible in the informant application and your Google account after each sync. These procedures will be the same, and basic operations will be the same, for all sync services that the informant application currently supports. Now, another feature that informant has is the ability to use iOS or Apple data inside of the informant application. To enable this, you will need to go to your device settings, privacy, calendars, and make sure that the Informant 5 slider is set to the on position as shown in the screen here. If it is not, please go ahead and move it to that position. You will want to repeat these steps for the reminders as well to bring those into Informant. Once this process is done, you can go back to the Informant application, go to the Settings area, to Accounts and turn on the Calendar App and Reminders App sliders. This will bring the Apple or iOS calendar data and Apple or iOS reminders into the Informant application where they can be used. A side note here is that when you are using iOS data in the Informant application, the iOS calendars, calendar data and iOS reminders data does have the same limitations that it would have if you were using that information directly in the stock applications that ship with your device. We hope that you find this video helpful. If you have further questions, please contact our support team. You can go to the support tab in the informant application and open a support case there or you can go to pocketinformant.com forward slash support and open a support case from the website. Thank you for being an informant customer, and please have a productive day.